Your constitutional freedoms under assault every day of the week. Your freedoms being taken away rapidly. I'm Artifacts Mars and this is Tyranny Watch News. Together we will explore the issues and the assaults on your freedoms, our failing schools, the incoming hordes of illegal aliens, and we'll find ways that we can stop this and return America to its greatness. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Well, this is Artifacts of Mars with Tyranny Watch News for the 25th of July 2014 and we're going to start off with the invasion news. The country is being invaded. Police in Maryland have arrested six illegal immigrants, otherwise known as invaders, several of which are admitted MS-13 gang members in connection with the death of a homeless man killed outside a liquor store earlier this week. This is from Infowars.com. Amos Milburn Jones, 56-year-old homeless man, was beaten and stabbed to death outside of a shopping strip in Suitland, Maryland, early Tuesday morning after witnesses saw him arguing with a girl. Amos was hanging out with friends near a liquor store when he confronted the girl. An argument reportedly began. The young woman became angry and left. But she allegedly returned with a group of men who beat Jones and then stabbed him multiple times in chest and neck. Yesterday, Suitland police revealed the 17-year-old female and several of the other suspects were members of the notoriously hyper-violent, multinational gang known as Mira Salvatra, or MS-13. All suspects will be charged with first-degree murder. So, here you have the uh, invaders, as predicted, are getting on the street and they're starting to kill people. Be one here and one there, and then it'll be two. It's going to get worse, people, if we don't get that border sealed and start deportations. And here we have another issue. It's related to the invasion. Crews and sessions are sounding alarm on Obama's plan to expand amnesty program. What Obama wants to do, reportedly, is he wants to say anybody give blanket am amnesty to up to six million more illegal invaders by the end of the summer. Two senators have been among the most vocal Republican opponents of Obama's de deferred deportation policy, which they say has prompted a flood of unaccompanied minors to try to cross into the United States. And of course, go on welfare. Cruz Sunday was back at Texas border last weekend, and when he asked border officials why roughly 60,000 children have tried to cross. Every single one of the border agents gave me the exact same answer. They said they're coming because they believe they will get amnesty. So, the coyote in chief may just give blanket amnesty to the invaders that are here by the end of the summer. But, it's going to get worse. Uh, before it gets better. I gotta find another story. Hold on. In a related story, the Coyote in Chief, Barack Obama, 
is considering refugee status for all Hondurans. I don't believe this. Hoping to stem the recent surge of migrants from the southwest border liars. The Obama administration is considering whether to allow hundreds of minors and young adults from Honduras into the United States without making a dangerous trek through Mex Mexico. This is from the New York Times. If approved, the plan would direct the government to screen thousands of children and youth in Honduras to see if they can enter the United States as refugees or on emergency ha humanitarian grounds. It would be the first American refugee effort in a nation reachable by land to the United States, putting the violence in Honduras on level with humanitarian emergencies in Haiti and Vietnam where such programs have been conducted in the past mid-war and major crises. In other words, the Coyote and Chief is no longer going to do this in secrecy, at least with the Hondurans, he's just going to bring them all in. This is beyond belief. I've never seen anything like it. We're being invaded. We're in an unbelievable amount of trouble. They're bringing in MS-13, the story I just uh, told you about. Oh man, are we in trouble. Okay. In Texas, the county commissioner is warning that there will be an immigrant tsunami if illegal immigrant children are housed there. That's Collin County in Texas. We're just pushing keep. Mark Reed is pushing to keep the subject on next week's court agenda meeting is scheduled at 1.30 on Monday for public input before county commissioners take action on the matter Tuesday. So there's another county which is fighting the flood of illegal uh, invaders into their county. They don't want these invaders coming in using public services, so forth. You have to remember that what's going to happen with this, if it's not stopped, let's say we survive this, we don't have any violence, like I think we will, but what's going to happen is they'll form their own subculture and they will be permanently on welfare, and of course, making new uh, people all of whom will be on permanently on welfare. None of them will ever work. They'll never have to do anything. They'll never learn English. Uh, but <coughs> somebody will be there to show them where to vote. That's the best possible outcome of this. It just gets worse from there. So... Another county is uh, saying no to the illegal aliens. Alright, we're going to move along to other news. In uh, Israel, in the West Bank, there's uh, heavy fighting going on. Israeli security forces have been put on heightened alert after two Palestinians were killed during a massive protest in the West Bank. So they're protesting, they're burning things, destroying things. Protests came hours after 15 people were killed and more than 200 injured when a UN-run UN school in the city of Belt Hanoun, Gaza, was hit by an ar Israeli artillery shell. Israel said it deployed thousands of security forces deployed in and around Jerusalem to deal with any disturbances. Of course, the uh, media 
all these sites with Palestinians. But I give you a little clue. There wasn't maybe a couple weeks ago. I put a story on Tyranny Watch where the I don't know if it was Tyranny Watch or another site, but there was a story that the UN had been found to have twenty rockets in one of their schools. Twenty Hamas rockets. So and then they acted in and said, Oh, we found them we apologize to Israel, we're gonna do an investigation into this. Hogwash. You wins in on this. Unbelievable. So but the media has no problem drumming up sympathy. Uh, maybe that Israel wa whacked the police because of you know, rockets or whatever. They know what they're doing. It was hit by our, an artillery shell. Sorry, no sympathy here. Again, in the Gaza conflict, now what they found out, Israel's been surprised by the number and size of the tunnels that are underneath Gaza. Apparently, what's been happening is that Hamas has been taking international aid that's supposed to be there to feed them, help build bridges, schools, whatnot. And so they use it for the uh, intended purposes. They've been building a sophisticated underground terrorist city underneath fields, underneath schools. It's all through there, apparently. And Israel's been going through it and is very surprised at what they've done. So, they're doing this just to destroy Israel. They're not doing this to benefit Palestinian people. This is the point. And that's the whole crux of this thing. They don't want peace. That's the way it is. So, that's not a good situation there. It's not going away anytime soon, I don't believe. I got a story uh, from Infowars.com, getting away from the Middle East. The federal government is urging paramedics and firefighters to help find extremists. So while the illegal aliens, the invaders from the south, are pouring into the country, Federal government is asking paramedics and firefighters to be on the lookout for extremists as part of a program that aims to uncover suspicious activity. Bolton released in March 2014 by the FBI Department of Homeland Security and National Counterterrorism Counter Center, obtained this week by Public Intelligence, contains details of the program entitled Emergency Medical Treatment presents opportunity for discovery of violent extremist activities. That means they're looking for another way to spy on you and use it. If they uh, call... Uh, you call an ambulance, you're going to be spied on, they're going to tell, tell them what, they, what you found. What was found. Early last, early, easily the most ludicrous example in this context was when the TSA trained thousands of workers, mainly hot dog vendors and parking lot attendants, to watch for terrorists at 2012 Super Bowl. I 
Americans are more likely to be killed by a plethora of mundane things in comparison to terrorism, including drowning in a bathtub, being struck by lightning, or being hit by an asteroid. So basically, they're clamping down, watching you closer and closer while they're letting all these illegals run rampant, kill people. And our Delgaff story actually relates to that. Our Delgaff story, do I look like I give a, well, you know what. Grandma says she's been going to the beaches in Florida since 1978, and she's never seen anything like this. What it is, two apparently illegal aliens, I don't know that for a fact, but it looks like they were, were uh, on the beach fornicating. In the middle of the afternoon, while this grandmother was here with her grandchildren, enjoying a nice day out, police responded eventually and charged Jose Benny Cavallero and Elisa Alvarez with lewd and lascivious behavior. According to one eyewitness, sexual activity went on for about 25 minutes. A couple of them before they took a quick dip in the water and returned to their beach towel, they remained passed out for hours before waking up and going at it again. We thought they were dead, but when they woke up, they called for a while, started in doing the same thing they did before. People finally got fed up and called the cops and hauled them away. Don't know for certain that they are illegal aliens, but that's coming to a beach near you. Regardless of whether they're illegals or not. Well, there you have Tyranny Watch News for today. Remember, you are living in a soft tyranny if you're in the United States. Your country is being invaded. Wake up. You've got to do something about it. We can only try to warn you, we can't force you to do nothing that you don't want to. Wake up. We've got to stop the illegal invasion right now. I'm Artifacts of Mars. Thanks for watching and listening to Tyranny Watch News.